wake up, wake up, wake up. Keep those elbows tight, tight, tight. I, like two two months I was traveling around because when, when the war started so I wasn't very consistent with the training with the supplements and stuff so uh, I can't say that I'm 100% in, in the mode yet I got you Keep those elbows Still no injuries. Oh, still no injuries. That was your first question you asked me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still no injuries. Still no injuries. And it's again, it's how I'm doing stuff. Not that I'm just doing it. It's like everybody goes in and works out and they're broken down by mid 30s. It's like, I don't want to do this. It's like, you got another 25 years, 30 years of this. I hope so. Well, but not, not lifting like that, you're not. Lifting like that, you're done in a couple years. All the explosion, the elbows are all over the place and stuff like that. <laughs> Comes and goes. Slow down, slow down, take your time. You don't need to do three plates, you can do 275. Sure, I used to do uh, three plates for five, seven reps, like about six months ago. Yeah, I just need to get be back. back on track. You'll be yeah. back. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's. It's called muscle memory. Yeah. You'll okay. be back. If I lift the weight, I will get the muscle. That's what you thought when you were a kid? Yeah, as a kid, as a power lifter. Remember, I fucking... I took second at nationals to Bull Stewart as a 19-year-old kid against the men. I was strong. I was God strong. It did nothing for my physique in the sense of muscularity. It didn't matter I was stronger than everybody else. I was stronger than any pro bodybuilder ever. It didn't matter. The muscularity is not there. And so it's just the wear and tear and now you're just kind of like it's at an ego so your main tip is to load the muscle while uh, lifting heavy you move the you move the weight because speed if you bring in speed that's athletic training that's something we're not doing that's what you you do athletic training when you're in your 20s and teens and 20s you know in your 30s if you want it if you're still that good of an athlete that, that's the speed that's great but there's got to be a point where you go, okay, now, what's longevity? How can I continue to do this for a long period of time? The training is different. So there's athletic training, right? Are you a pro athlete? No. You're not playing pro soccer? No, so I don't need Then that. what are you doing then? And that's what they don't do. They, they go, well, this is what this guy does. He trains for the NFL, so he's training fast. But he's training for the NFL. That has nothing to do with you. <laughs> That's what you were looking for, yeah, that's huh? That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Now I'm warmed up. See, so it took me a little while to warm up. Sorry, guys. Pressing bar. I can't do bar. That's, that's just healthy. That, to me, I wish, I wish the young kid me would have known that. And I'll teach my son this. But that's so much more beneficial doing what I just did mm -hmm. for the last 20 minutes than five sets of 20 reps warming up with one plate and then just going 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 and going to fatigue or something where this is a deposit this is basically a deposit into the future so i just trained and i will be okay to train in five years and ten years because of the bone density and the connective tissue relative to the guy who comes in and goes i'm jacked today i don't care if you're jacked that's gonna come and go you know putting deposits in the Titan fund. Yeah, what can you, how can you use weightlifting 
that will allow you to be healthy later on instead of just today, just the show, just to look good for the summer. What can I do today that will pay dividends later on? And it's just that little stuff that I do um, that pays later. And that's the reason why 19, early 1980s, I was competing and I'm still here in 2022. So the two things I want to do. First thing is, when you bring it down, right? You come down and then you try to kick it, right? Yeah. So stop here. Yeah. And just like a bodybuilding show, just flex, moderate flex. Just start flexing it up. Don't, don't pop. Don't, don't try to keep hold the whole body. Just flex. Okay. Let's go. And take it down. You'll stay with you. Give me a lift. This is lightweight for you, right? Two plates. Is this two plates. Yeah. We're going five. So I flex and stop there, or I go all the way up? Just listen to me. I'm going to coach you through this. Okay. Body tight. Body tight. Okay. Okay, bring it down. Good control. Stop. Flex. Out. Go. Go again. Flex out. Go. Back down lower now. Down lower on the chest. There. Up. Flex. Go again. Stop. Squeeze. Go. One more. Beautiful. Beautiful. Stop. Squeeze. Go. Done. So you're initiating the movement from the flexing of your chest. You start the. Why wouldn't it be? You create this momentum from the chest, right? Yeah. From the flex. It makes sense. Yeah. From the flex. Yeah. I mean, because come on, it's just one of those things that it's like, if it's not for the flex, and it's just a heave ho, heave ho is just, it's explosion, right? Yeah. An explosion is normally where the injuries happen. Now you have to do that as an athlete, 100%. You cannot get away, you can't get around that explosion. But as soon as you get past that, which is in your teens and 20s, then slow it down and be just smarter. And that's where that flex comes from. If it's not flexing. Sometimes you do these full stop uh, exercises. I remember you like it as well. But still, when you do it, you do it from like engaging the chest first. Well, the difference between what I do when I pause, and it's either here or on squats or anything, I don't rest it. And again, it goes back to that earlier stage with power lift, just actually rest it, relax the whole body. And I'll do that at times, but it's a hold and a flex to take some of that even more energy away. Because I'm trying to lift, believe it or not, the least amount of weight the right way. But yeah, still, to believe it, these yeah, but you know, but again, it goes back to the point of, you know, if you train it, I guess 50% of the body weight or, or your strength level, sorry. Um, there's just no, there's no tendon strength from that. Now you're just burning, you're just burning out your body in deterioration. Sooner or later your knees go, sooner or later your shoulders go. The use. And so I'm trying to get a year's workouts in with about a quarter of how much you work out. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. You just have to remember about this every workout, every day that you do. Sometimes we get out. carried away. I love working out. Yeah. So how can I work out in 10 years? That's, that's my whole process in the mind yeah I need to be able to be around for my son in 20 years so how can I still be lifting at that point instead of which they think you only train so you can look good and be strong absolutely not that was when I was 20 that's not you know what I mean though yeah you want to get on stage you got on stage yeah when did that switch or has it I don't know it's hard to tell your daughter's how old? Ten. He's got a little one too. It's like, there's gonna be a point where you go, hey, life's more about being able to do and move in 20 years than just be strong and jacked. Yeah. Longevity, I remember it's your like, main idea behind your whole training philosophy. That's life? Yeah. No? Get out of there! Now you're going up. 
We checking in on the missus? We're checking in on the bowinator. Jeffrey's trying to focus. Oh man, this is double trouble. Yeah. Felt better, right? You got such baby hands, though. It's like Santa Claus. It's that ball. <laughs> Holy shit. Big ball. No one you think you got a big ding ding. It's got little hands. <laughs> Get out of there. Played us some light ass weight. Hello. Hi. How much, That's perfect. Okay. Give me a little something. Hey, Bo, I'm working right here. Yeah, that's the spot. I heard about it, like relax your neck thing. Yeah, it's uh, blood pressure is not going too high, I guess. And this is what I need. <laughs> no, why? Couple things. Yeah, you're, you're, you're very tense. And all we gotta do is flex the chest, really. Yeah. So your neck, is you're straining your neck, you're pushing it back. Yeah, you don't really need that. And then also, your hand was choked up on the platform. Uh huh. Make it in the middle. What do you mean? Here, so. Here. When you grab those dumbbells, yeah. you're grabbing the middle. Yeah. You're controlling. Yeah. So it's a little thing, but I just hear about people. You, you leave it against one side, and your wrist is rotating. Uh huh. It's getting strained. Got it. Silly, silly little thing. Oh, okay. They roll. Be careful. That's. That's perfect.
annoying little details, but I think it's gonna help in the long run. So one of the things was, let's, let's take the hands inside and let's really focus like this, right? Yeah. That's, That's what you're thinking, yeah. right? Yeah. So my thought is this, manhandle it, put the hands straight. If you do that, you can still rotate it like this or rotate it away, but make sure it's the wrist and not the weight that's making you do it. So here it is. That's flexing all the way through it. So here. situation so this is a stretching exercise right so let's use it for our advantage we did power we did another power with a bit of an isolation because it's up higher so why not use this for a little bit more than just so that's why I love the idea first thing you did was don't pull it in just let it relax stretch it all the way keep that range of motion and then from that dead spot, that extreme stretch, that's where the flex starts. So each thing is a different exercise. Use it for your best ability for width. If the muscle is, do you know how people always say, oh, keep the tension on it? Yeah. It's the dumbest thing in the world. It really is the dumbest, dumbest technique in the entire world. You're shortening the muscle. the working range. You just stay here. Just stay on this. You're shortening the muscle. A full arm is an extended arm. That stretch. It's like Arnold was great when he would do exercises. You just see that full range. He has long limbs. And he would stretch that big. And that's why he has the greatest arms ever. A full muscle also is a healthy muscle. I mean, think about that. These kids go, no, no, you're 20. They have no comprehension of what it feels like to be 30, 40, or 50. So I can just shorten it. And this is the greatest thing in the world right here. That muscle is getting so tight and so short and no nothing in that long position. That's injuries. Yeah. And now we'll do the full range of motion with everything. Chest, arm. The full range of motion. And he also over, did. Over road. He was going all the way away to the bottom. With his lower back rounded up. Yeah. If you, there's videos of him deadlifting. And it's the ugliest deadlift in the yeah. world. And it's so cool to one. see him do that. Because he was so strong, he could do even bad form and still be strong in that position. Where these guys are so freaked out about uh, shorten the range of motion. Only stay in that one position. Don't change it. It's like, open it up. You, you seriously got to open this stuff up. Is that okay for shoulder to go back and forth? Uh, like shoulders? Well, you're talking to me. You're talking to me. Yeah. I started shoulder pressing at nine years old behind the neck. I'm still doing it today. Where people go, no, no, you can't do behind the neck. You can't. You, that means you can't squat. What is a squat? A squat's the bar behind your neck. So everybody's doing it, but they go, no, no, you can't do the shoulder press. Why? Because they do bad form. Anything bad form is going to be bad for you. Range of motion, though, is the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. 